Hey everybody, it's Bruce with Nature Calls, and I'm out doing a setup review of the REI Quarter Dome SL2. Now, REI has been coming out with these SL, or super long, models. This one looks like it might be discontinued. I'm not sure why. It's great tent. Quarter Dome's always been a great tent. Um, but it's two inches longer than, say, like the, the Tiger Wall or any of the competitors. Uh, so if you're over six feet tall, this tent will work for you, maybe up to 6'4". So it's two inches longer, and it's, uh, you see, this is two pounds, 14 ounces for the all in, everything. Um, two pounds, eight ounces if you don't have the bags and the stakes and the guy lines, which I think is a stupid weight measurement. But the, I think the Tiger Wall is two pounds, eight ounces, but it's two inches shorter. So if you take into account all the extra fabric, pull length, and all those things, yeah, it's about that much. So very comparable, plus it's about two thirds the cost. And I would say this is definitely a better deal. I think it's crossbar design is way better. Now, the Tiger Wall is not a great tent. I've got one, I've got Nemo's, I've got them all. Um, this is a really great tent, I think for the value, if you're trying to get into that upper end ultralight, this is a great tent. Let's do the setup. Yeah, the beauty of these ultralight tents, is you can squish them way down. So that's really about the diameter of a Nalgene bottle. Most tents are like 19, 20 inches long because of their bars. Um, it says it's two pounds, eight ounces minimum trail weight. So that's less this bag, less stakes, less all those things. It's two pounds, 14 ounces, which uh, the Tiger Wall is like two pounds, eight ounces. So it's uh, six more ounces, but it's also 88 inches long. The Tiger Wall is 86 inches long. So you add those two inches all the way around on the tent floor and bug netting and poles. So it's right in line. So they do provide these nice DAC V stakes. These are next to the Groundhog, my favorite stakes. They're actually, I think, a lot stronger than the Groundhog. They're thicker, um, great holding power, really light. Um, they, I did have to add two more pegs to this setup for a full on storm setting. So they were short two pegs. Now this is the head end here and you'll see the semi freestanding. Um, I'm gonna just take this out cause it's really lightweight cloth. It's anywhere from 30 to 40 to near. They didn't give my specs, but um, even with the slightest breeze, this picks it up. So I've got just uh, the head end, and you'll see why I didn't tack down the, the foot end. This is their pole system. It's really nice. It's, again, it's DAC. Uh, it's their Featherlight NSL. So they're, I think like they're six millimeter poles. And the NSL is DAC's way of doing things, um, you know, as non-toxic as possible. So you wanna make sure all these are set in really well. Um, Cause if there's gonna be damage, it's probably gonna be that one of these pull sections wasn't all the way inserted and then it broke or cracked and then that shoved through your tent. Um, these are nice orange and then the head end actually has orange indicators where you put those in. Little Nipple goes in the grommet. Now we'll put this the foot end, just one pull coming down. I've got to say this is, um, compared to other tents, I love this mid crossbar. It goes back, it's very firm. Um, like on the Tiger Wall, it's a flippy floppy thing that goes around. This way, <coughs> it goes, it just hangs back. I don't have to adjust the flippy floppiness. Just put it on and then it's also really nice because this is the way it's curved back like when you're sitting up in the tent it puts the high point right about here right there and that's perfect for where your head height is i'm going to go ahead and clip all these clips on real nice clips all the way around now here's where you get the semi-free standing you know if you had to you could just have this tent like if you're on a rock you could just have it that way um but to get the semi freestanding and give the structure to the tent, you have to stake out these foot corners. And there's like a little piece of plastic in here that gives this a little bit of rigidity. And then you got this triangle. Do a quick walk around. Do 
Very nice. <laughs> now to get in and out, you've got these huge, huge D-style doors. I mean, they're just monsters. So you can get in and out of there real easy. S super easy. Now let's climb on in. Yeah, right up here, you got a couple nice pockets for your like headlamp. You got two pockets back here. But it's uh, so it's 50 inches wide up here at the head, so you can have the 25 inch um, mattresses side by side, and then it tapers down. I don't know what that is. I'll put all the specs down below. But the, the real beauty is, and REI is coming out with a few of these SL tents. They're super long, um, 88 inches long. So a lot of people ask, you know, as I'm six feet tall, and this tent. Uh, it could easily handle someone up to probably 6'4", 6'2", 6'4", so fantastic. They've done a really good job of minimizing seams. So they did a bathtub floor. They've got this one tape seam here in the middle, but all the corners, they did a really good job of, you know, bringing that up around, sewing them together. I don't know if you could see that, but they overlapped them. They got it, so it's going to be as minimal chance of water penetration. Um, like this fabric, it's totally siliconized where you see the brown and it looks it's somewhere between 30 and 40 denier. This bug screen looks like it's about 40 denier. Great bug screen. Nothing's getting through that. All the, the poles and everything are great, great quality. Clip this down because there's a little bit of a wind. But your rain fly, which is again about that 40 denier, 30 denier, siliconized. And you've got another grommet it goes on that crossbar. Nice reinforcement. We also have these little Velcro tabs and I really recommend using those. Uh, it just keeps all the structure really good and tents are designed to be a whole, a whole unit in structure and so you want everything working together you want everything set up right and then especially if you're in a big wind you're going to want to have all this working for you so there's two two of those velcro tabs and it's a lot easier for you to tighten everything up to get those now, i know i haven't put the stakes all the way in i'm just doing practice stuff so here's the little clip the orange orange on this on the head end black and black i'm going to tighten these all down again it's giving your tent a lot of structure the rain fly comes down put it on that stake same stake and then you've got nice little tensioners another really cool design feature is this front vestibule pull out by the door really gets it away from you on the inside of the tent good wind break rain break if it's raining let's tighten her up Very nice. As you can see, the way they do a lot of these ultralight tents and to minimize condensation, they have this gap on the bottom of the tent so you get that airflow. And to make it even better, put this rooftop, a little kickstand, and to make it even better, pull out. But to really be able to get that airflow going up and under and through and the tent's really far off the inner tent so the likelihood you're going to get any condensation on your gear is pretty low go ahead and completely guy it out we'll have a complete tent no nice guy out points on the front and this is what you want to do I really recommend this all the time because tents are designed to be pulled down onto the ground and then in big storms that's what keeps you Keeps you from losing everything. Nice little rain guide on it. Roll her back. So the vestibule area is definitely big enough for your backpack um, and maybe your shoes. That's all you're going to have in here. In ultralight, you don't need a ton of stuff. Your All your sleeping gear is going to be in the tent. Your headlamp will be in the tent. Um, your cook gear will probably be up in a tree with your food bag. So other than that, this is plenty of room for a uh, backpack and, and some shoes. Now let's say it's going to be a 
It's a nice night for now, but it might rain, but you still want to be able to look outside. You can just detach from that stake. And now you've got this great huge view. But if it does rain, you have the ability to quickly put it down. In fact, it looks like you could probably do it all from inside the tent. But uh, you could definitely look at them outside right now. That's a nice setup, real nice. All right, so there you go, the REI Quarter Dome SL2. I think it's actually probably one of the best values in the ultralight market. It's definitely an ultralight tent. Um, really great designs all the way around, but it is the semi freestanding. So if you think you're going to be like having to camp out on a rock, uh, it's probably not the best tent for that. But if you've got any way to stake it out, stake out the foot end, you've got a real nice tent, super light. But uh, fantastic. All right. See you out on the trail. Bye now.